Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. Following the news these days should come with the caution to stay one step ahead of the surface narrative, a bit like playing chess. Game of Thrones. Sanusi Lamido Sanusi has just been dethroned as Emir of Kano after over four years and a running battle with the state governor, Ganduje, himself now referred to as Gandola over a bribery video of him that went viral only in Nigeria. Sanusi, who was once suspended as governor of Central Bank in the tenure of the troubled good luck Jonathan, is clearly a man who speaks up and gets counted. He only a few days ago questioned the economic sense of the current government in borrowing money to build railway lines to Kano. There is no viable economy in Kano, and Nigeria is itself in quite a bit of an economic mess with troubled times ahead globally. Ganduje, in a bid to whittle down the power base of Sanusi's previous position, created four more emirates from within Sanusi's kingdom and has since elevated the former emir of Bichi to become the new substantive Islamic ruler of Kano. Sanusi has in the meantime been supposedly banished to Nasarawa, but Kaduna State has enthroned him with two positions, including chancellor of the state university. This is just like musical chairs. Sanusi will no doubt continue his life of advocacy, especially for change in northern Nigeria, for women advancement, for education, for many more of the poor, eradication of the backward al Majiri system, basically rocking the northern boot. But there's something I miss, like there's another layer of plans to the removal of this man from a position that never really suited his temperament a man who Nigeria would have seen more suitable for great public office or service, presidential material, actually. We can learn from this experience that at a time when evil and wrongdoing become the norm, the hero is actually he or she who seemingly loses out, who pays a price to maintain a stand, who damns the consequences and acts for greater collective good. While Major General Buhari has rushed to congratulate the new Emir, let us not assume that this is tacit support for the turn of events. For now, let's consider that there's still more thrones to be thrown Sanusi's way. <laughs> That's why it's a game of thrones, right? <laughs> That's it. The game of thrones. Well, I, I thought that you chip in something about economic viability in Kano. Kano mm. is actually a very important uh, economic city. Uh, it has been the headquarters of the Trans-Sahara trade for centuries um, as, as a banker several years ago. When you're looking for cash in Nigeria, call Kano. They'll move it to you. So I just thought I should mention that. But I, I, having said that... <laughs> okay, as a, sorry, where, today, where are they getting the cash from? Trade. Trade, actually. All the way from Burkina Faso. Yeah. Okay. They come to trade grain in, in Kano. Kano. Just money. Money exchange. So money, yeah. It's cash exchange. No goods. Everywhere. They're the goods. The, the goods are here. They come all the way from all those countries above Niger, Nigeria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you come and buy grain. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, millet. Okay. Uh, millet but how, how much of these things that. really are? How much grains do we Even leather. Do we, do we 100 leather. years ago, the amount that, yeah, of money Kano was making from well, leather. Is it the same now? You're, you're referring to a time mm. when... It, it, it's, it's still the same. It's still the same, Even now, the, the internal generated revenue of Kano State, I'm not talking of allocation, okay. it's more than some three or four states in the south okay. put together, depending on which state you pick. Okay. Anyway. Interesting. You yeah. know that, for instance, the leather industry 
has been uh, killed in that area by being Represent. given over to... No, 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 it's not so much that. That's one thing. No, but, but no, no, really, it's basically to do with exports. There is export going on, but it's not benefiting Nigeria or Nigerians properly. It's basically been an arrangement with Chinese, and they basically just ship out this stuff and... We, got, we, we don't, it's like the mining problems that we have in the country. Individuals mm -hmm. so, are yes. benefiting. So we don't know what's going on with that. Those are the sorts of things that are happening in Kano. That's a shame. Nothing much is happening in Kano to actually profit Nigeria. I mean, this trade you're talking about, how, what's the volume? And what does it add to our... Uh, revenue. I don't know. Clearly, I mean, You'd be surprised. Uh, yeah, I, I still believe that Kano remains a, a you know center of commerce as far as the northern, yeah. northern part of this country is concerned. And it's, it's a very important strategic state. Um, um, but with regards to the Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. um, I, I, let me just say that I don't think anyone, will, any serious observer, will say they were surprised um, that, that Sanusi got kicked out. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as you said, his temperament was not suited Shit. for that position. Yeah. Um, it was clear. I mean, we, mm. even... even even, uh, even as the head of the CBN, you could tell that he had this, vocal. you know, very vocal. Um, so he's, 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 he's rather, he's a brilliant person. You know, his mind is, is, is such a cerebral person. But I, I think that you have this fight within the traditional institutions, um, not even to talk about the religious part of it, but where he was rocking the boat. But we need people like that. I was going to say who can who can say when things. Say he's not suited. I know, but he's he, perfect for what um, because I don't see. Yeah. Yeah. That we want to there's a dissonance. Our there's a dissonance. There's a dissonance between you know. It's just like having the queen yeah. in 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 the UK. You want to see the queen saying things. Mm -hmm. No, no. Some 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 other persons within the institution within the monarchy can say that. It's like our. Prince Harry that wants to go well, off on his in own. In a situation but where the, we, the people who should be doing it are not doing it, then you need someone like him to do it. Because at least he started the then, conversation on the quota system. But remember the balance of power. Again, again on understand, you understand that Several. you are clearly... We go back to that. I don't know if you saw the video circulating just recently about Abu Bakr Rimi saying then he had yes. this issue with Adebayo yes. as well when yes. Adebayo was, uh, was the, was the yes. emir. So, yes. like, you know, the staff of office is given to you yes. by the state government. Yeah. As an employee they, they, of the government. You're an employee of the state. Yeah, they sign the They give you money. Yeah. So you need to know that, um, again, it's about, I like his advocacy. Of course. And it's necessary. But I think that um, we, we can also not deny that his temperament was in conflict. I want to look at it from with, another perspective. I want to say, because of the, the way Nigeria is, we do need people like him. We need mavericks like him. And, and my problem is not even him. My problem is the fact that people like Ganduje can checkmate people like him. I'm really appalled mm, that we have mm. bullies like right. Ganduje in positions of power where they can checkmate people like him. I'm, and and I'm, I'm totally unimpressed with a lot of the governors we have who are using their power, abusing their power. We're not even satisfied that they have the, the, the caliber to even be in that office in the to first place. Office. So because they have, so my problem is with those people. My problem is not even with him. Mm -hmm. We need more people like him, however okay. they manifest themselves in sure. the public space. I, I totally agree with you that we need people like, like um, I you know, so to have the but you know, he brought up. I, I want mm -hmm. to liken this now, like bringing it home to my profession, talking about the judiciary. It is a very, you know, sacred institution and only as sacred as it performs. Oh, well, perform, only as well, true, we, but we have, we no have cows. I mean, if you go to the courtroom, we have, we have very sound judges, but you don't see them airing their opinion on, you know, issues of the public. Mm. So, you, liking that to, you know, the um, traditional rulers, they are as sacred as that. I'm not faulting him. His advocacy is good. We need him. But for the position he occupies, he wasn't he wasn't suited. So now I mean, I'm saying this as a situation. Vocal, vocal I'm saying people this people as a could it, couldn't we just tolerate one out of ten? It's it's Trump. It's not a traditional American it's not president. Not president. Not sacred, where has this sacred gotten us in Nigeria? Everybody is, keeps I'm quiet this as and they don't an speak up. And things are going bad. I'm seeing this so as an opportunity no that, 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 that you know, just as the judiciary is turning itself upside the down. The stone the builder rejects would eventually become the chief cornerstone. 
you mentioned in your advocacy like a presidential material. I'm not advocating for anything, but let's just watch her and I think see you how it goes. Political power. To really? Make yeah, they say she runs for governor. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just she, has, power. she has everything. Um, because, you know, uh, the advocacy here you, is here the you have this narrative. Nigeria you have the needs, intellect. You have, the, and you know what's wrong. People enough. like you should him. run for office because yeah. you know not, that the power of not in a, a position that's going to cage him. It takes a politician to win elections. Yeah, I don't think it will win. That's the problem. He's not a politician. That's the truth. Ah, where are we left with? <laughs> <laughs> well, where some may have a challenging time keeping up with the political narrative, Balanho adeptly follows the money trail and interprets the indices for us after the break. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually worked. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.